So guys, it's Tuesday, so that means it's time for this week's Team of the Week predictions. And that's probably the last time that I'm ever going to be saying that. Well, for this FIFA anyway, as I think from next week, with the major leagues in football stopping, Team of the Week predictions might be getting moved to either Monday morning, Sunday night. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure which yet, but uh, do look out for that. Nevertheless, as usual, in the comments below, let me know who you think will get an inform this week. Also, if you could leave a like on the video, that would be awesome. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. How's team of the season going for you guys? Let me know in the comments. Have you packed anyone? Which players have you tried? How are they for you? And uh, yeah, I should have some more team of the season videos up for you guys tonight. So uh, yeah, let's just get into my predictions, I suppose. Quick side note, it's currently 6am. Yeah, I'm recording this really late. It's going up in about an hour, so if I sound tired, yeah, you know why. So, this week we start off in goal with Kaylin Navas, who made 6 saves in Real Madrid's 2-0 win on the weekend. Now, I'm not too confident about this one happening, but I don't think there were too many goalkeeper candidates this week, and Navas also got a pretty good match rating too. Next to him is Hector Bellerin. Yes, I'm trying it again. Hopefully gets an inform this week. He's got a goal in Arsenal's 3-1 win against Everton. In that game, Danny Welbeck got 2 assists, so he also could get himself an inform, but I've gone for Bellerin instead. Mainly because I'm really hoping that I can finally get an inform Bellerin to put in my team, just because I want a special Bellerin card, because I forgot to do that SBC Bellerin when that came out. Cooley Bali is up next, he could get another inform, he got a goal in a 4-1 win for Napoli. In that game, Merton's got two goals and an assist, so he could also get another inform, but I've gone for Koulibaly instead, just with it being so close to team of the season, and obviously was us expecting a very high-rated Mertens already. Marco Andreoli is next. He got a goal in Inter Milan's 3-1 win against Lazio. Moving into the midfield, I'm going to start off with inform Genie Wijnaldum, who got a goal and an assist in a 3-0 win for Liverpool against Middlesbrough, and obviously that win has catapulted them into the Champions League. Next up is one that I'm not too sure about, but I could definitely see EA throwing it into sell packs. Not that they'd need it with team season being out, but you never know. Pogba got himself a goal and an assist as he helped Man United beat Palace 2-0 in what was a very useful Manchester United team. So, pretty impressive win by United, to be honest. Um, nevertheless, goal and assist for Pogba. Could it be enough to see him get an inform this week? There's actually a lot of potentially good looking informs in this week's Team of the Week and another one of them is Robin, who got himself a goal and two assists in a 4-1 win for Bayern Munich against Freiburg on the final day of the season. Now along with Robin, I think there are some other candidates, you've got the likes of Lam and Alonso who have both now retired from football, who I can see both of them getting special cards at some point, maybe not in Team of the Week but maybe Alonso could because he got an assist in that game and maybe they'll give him a card due to that. Nevertheless, I've gone for an inform Robin who as I said got a goal and two assists and also a very good match rating in that 4-1 win. Berardi is up next, he got himself a goal and two assists in a 6-2 win for his team and this looks like a very nice inform that will be pretty cheap, so um, yeah, looks pretty good to me. Next up is Hyunmin Song who hopefully gets an inform this week, I say that because I didn't do his player of the month SBC and I'll be really annoyed if you don't get a special card because I really wanted it but I thought I'd wait to see if he got an inform and get that card instead, so hopefully this inform happens because uh, yeah, it looks insane. Tottenham had a pretty mad past week featuring in two games. Son got two goals and an assist in Tottenham's 6-1 win against Leicester and he also got an assist in their 7-1 win against Hull. Now obviously I have to mention Harry Kane who got four goals and an assist in that 6-1 win against Leicester and then he got a hat-trick in the 7-1 win against Hull. But he's in team of the season right now, so I don't know whether EA will give them an inform. However, they might, and it might just be a case of when BPL, no, the EPL team of the season is out of packs, they put his inform into packs. Confusing, I know, but it could happen, but hopefully they just give the inform to Son. Anyway, we'll move on quickly to Aguero, who got two goals and an assist and a very high match rating in Manchester City's 5-0 win against Watford. He missed out on team of the season, so maybe... He'll get a very good inform this week. Final player in the starting 11 is Bas Dost, and as usual, you can guess what he did. He scored a hat trick again. So, yeah, another hat trick. Two of them were penalties, but um, I still think he could feature. So, guys, that is my prediction for the starting 11. It is a very good looking starting 11. So, um, yeah, it could be a pretty mad team of the week this week. 
Ralph Farman is up next. Now, he got a very high match rating. He made about seven saves, saved the penalty, and just helped Schalke in a game when they were actually down to 10 men. So, yeah, there could be another insane card coming for Ralph Farman. And now we come on to one which, once again, I'm not too sure about. Now, I know I've got two Manchester City players, but that's just because I couldn't decide between them. Fernandinho played right back. Well, he did according to who scored and flash scores anyway. And Fernandinho got a goal in that 5-0 win for Man City against Watford. So I'd actually really like this card to happen just because position change in forms are always nice. And this would be a very interesting one indeed. Next to him is Philippe Kostig, who got himself a goal and an assist in Hamburg's 2-1 win against Wolfsburg. And that was a huge game in the Bundesliga because the winner of that escaped the relegation zone. So, yeah, now Wolfsburg have got to play a relegation playoff because they lost that game. And, um, yeah, this could even be a hero card for Kostik. Because Tottenham scored so many goals in the past two weeks, if Harry Kane doesn't feature, then Wanyama could. He got himself a goal and an assist in that 7-1 win against Hull City. Also, there are players like Trippier, who could also get an inform, Eriksen, Deli Ali, like, there's so many, it's unreal. Mohamed Salah got himself two goals in a 5-3 win for Roma. This would be an insane card if it did indeed happen. Bitolo got two goals and an assist in a 5-0 win. He also got a very good match rating. Definitely expect him to get an inform this week. Nicolas de Preville got himself a hat-trick in a 3-0 win. That should be enough to see him get a very good-looking second inform. And it would be a welcomed card with team of the season for League 1 just around the corner. Shinzo Kuroki got another hat-trick, so he should get an inform this week. Christian Jacobson, as you can also expect, also got himself a hat-trick. Hat-trick in a 3-0 win for him. Kai Havertz, if you play football manager, you'll know a lot about this kid. He got two goals in a 6-2 win for Bayer Leverkusen. Miguel Almiron got a hat-trick for Atlanta. And Fedor Smolov also got a hat-trick for his team. So guys, those are my predictions for this week's Team of the Week. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I think it'll be a pretty good one with it being the last week for EA to put Major League players in. So uh, yeah, could be a pretty damn nice team of the week. Anyway, in the comments below, let me know who you think will get an inform. If you could leave a like on the video, that would be awesome. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.